Hello everyone. Today we are going to configure Kali Linux on Windows 10 machine without any virtualization software like VMware or VirtualBox. We'll be using the feature that is called WSL, uh, that is Windows Subsystem for Linux. And we'll also uh, install GUI interface to that. To do that, let's go to the start button, select PowerShell, run as administrator, give it the permission once you see the powershell window just type the command written at the description box of this video you'll see all the commands over there you can copy it from the, that section and paste it into the powershell one by one so now here we need to wait for some time okay once it is done just copy another command and what you need to do is just paste it into this partial window what we are doing here is we are enabling certain windows feature that provide supports for wsl uh, using which you can use kali on windows okay okay so just to let you know guys um as i've already installed or enabled this feature they are getting enabled pretty quickly on my machine it might take some time on your machine to get enabled so don't get worried with that you can see the command completed successfully now use <clears throat> the third i'm sorry now use the third command just copy it from there and paste it just to let you know guys we will be using the windows subsystem for linux version 2 for this specific uh, demo uh, because that is more efficient so to download that just open your browser copy the link from the description and once the browser is there just paste it into the browser address bar click enter the website will be loaded up Now you can see the first link which you need to click and download just double click it will be downloaded on the machine uh, as my machine is uh, my internet connection is pretty slow i would say <laughs> it's gonna take a while okay once it is done it you just need to double click it and execute it i've already installed it on my machine uh, it's like pretty simple installation wizard based installation where you need to just click next 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 and you're done okay so just double click it okay for me it is throwing an error as it is already installed um in your case it will there will be a wizard where you need to click next now after this step once you start done this you need to set version 2 as your default version for WSL. To do that, just copy the command and paste it into the PowerShell window. That is done. Uh, don't worry about this message which you are able to see just below the command. It is nothing but an information uh, which is not going to hinder the performance or operations. Now go to Windows App Store and from there download kali just search for kali select the first option and wait for it now from here just click install okay so as my internet connection is slightly slow i'm gonna pause okay it speeded up so now it is done i'll click on launch and as i'm running it for the first time it is going to take some time to get configured onto my machine and then it will ask you to enter the username and password as it will be creating a new user so i'll be putting name as kali and the password 
again after that we need to retype the password once it is done hit enter and you will see a message something like this okay so now uh, our Kali environment is up and running. We'll check the IP address by typing IP A. As you can see, it's an internal IP being allocated to this machine, Kali machine. Now, as you can see, it's a CUI environment or a interface from where you can only type commands. There is no GUI. Don't get worried, but don't be worried about that we'll be taking care of that so we need to install certain software uh, provided desktop environment but as it is a base installation we need to perform an update and upgrade so that all the libraries should be a uh, recent one so what we are doing here we are doing an update and upgrade and just type sudo apt upgrade and hit enter just provide the sudo password for the user kali and it started we need to wait for some time until this upgrade completes it's done okay now here you need to start another installation for desktop environment into the kali it's gonna take a while i'm gonna pause the video and we'll be resuming once it is done Okay, so it will ask for some feature, some input from user at it. What is the keyboard layout? You need to provide the keyboard layout and click OK. You need to hit tab and post that the installation will resume. Okay. Okay, so here, as you can see, it's going to take a while and we can pause here. Okay, and we'll be resuming once it is done. Oh, it is done <laughs> pretty quick. So <clears throat> now what we need to do is we need to install XRDP. It's an RDP Okay, now it is going to install XRDP. Once it is done, we need to run the service XRDP. So what we'll do is we'll type command sudo service xrdp start and hit enter now our rdp server is up and running on kali machine we'll copy the ip address we'll go to our windows box start the remote connection by typing the ip address okay you will see an warning click yes now here you need to enter the credentials which you have created at the time of installation of the Kali Wind machine. Just type Kali and the password. Click OK. And boom. <laughs> Good. So as you, you must be knowing, we are loading into the desktop environment for the first time. It will take some time. But as soon as the next time you will hit it, it will be fast. It is up. So you can see your Kali desktop up and running in GUI interface on Windows 10 as an application. So it's a bare minimum installation. Keep in mind, it's a bare minimum installation and uh, you need to install applications that are being used by you for your op uh, operations or whatever thing you want to perform. So you can install uh, all the applications that is a regular one in the next video i'm going to show you how to install all the relevant application for penetration testing and then <clears throat> we'll be proceeding further for our ne next video okay thank you very much if you feel, face any challenges please let me know in the comment box i'll revert back to you thank you very much Please do subscribe.